Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again. Looking at installing some firmware into our Annex Core install. Now you can do this, well, probably after you have a GUI environment and do it from Synaptic, but I, it's pretty easy from there, but I thought I'd take the chance to roll through it from the command line. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add some, if you need firmware for your Annex Core install, we're going to need to add some sections to the um, to the uh, sources. So let's go to, uh, first off we're going to go root, so su, then your root password, nano, backslash, etc, backslash app, backslash sources.list.d, backslash debian.list. What we're going to do, we're going to come down to whatever sources you have enabled. I have the testing sources enabled right here. And at the end of the line after main, we're going to write contrib, and that's going to get us flash later, and then non-free, which is going to get us some of the firmwares we need. Control X to exit nano, hit yes to save the changes, then we're going to do app get update. And it's going to update the package. There's going to be a lot more of them with those new repos installed. Why much you need firmware? Well, wireless cards is the biggie. Also, some sound cards, a lot of video cards need extra firmware. Uh, I'm going to show you, now that we've updated our list, we can do app cache search firmware, and you're going to get a huge list of firmware. But there's some biggies to look for. And I'm going to say that if you know your hardware, then you're going to um, you're going to know have an idea of what um, firmware you need. Uh, a lot of distributions come with like all the firmware, and that way they can configure on anything. Part of the the neat part about building your own is you don't have to install everything; you can install just some. I happen to know that I'm going to need two. I'm going to need app get install. Actually, I'm going to need a couple. Uh, I'm going to need firmware. Since I want to install this later on my other laptop, I'm going to need my wireless. Um, that's the firmware for my Intel wireless. You you may have different firmware for your wireless. There's there's all sorts. You may not even need firmware. Uh, my Athros chipset and my EPC doesn't require any extra firmware. It's built into the kernel. And then you also, I'm also going to install firmware Linux, which is going to install, it's actually a meta package for, for firmware Linux slash free and firmware Linux dash non-free. It's going to install all sorts of things, um, mostly for video cards, sound cards, things like that, and some base uh, networking stuff. And then I'm also going to install um, uh, the firmware Oh, what the heck's it called? Uh, 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 Intel Micro. It's not firmware. It's Intel Microcode. Microcode. And there we go. Okay, so you can see it's going to pull down a few other things. Um, and it's, but it's not going to take a whole lot of room. These little binary blobs of firmware don't take up much space. So we're going to download those. It's not going to take very long, even on my connection today. And there we go. And there we go. Our firmware is up to date. Tips, tricks, how-tos. Head over to annex.mepis.org. Or throw a post at angst.freeforms.org. It's the Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.